What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We are here on Forza Motorsport 7 behind the wheel of our Fantax setup with our NRG Innovations wheel, hydraulic handbrake, and everything. We are here testing the SSR Pro Car here on Road Atlanta because round three is going to be here at Road Atlanta. So we're going to be doing a little shakedown of the V8 powered 370 and uh, see where we're sitting at and how comfortable I feel right now after not being on the wheel for a little bit. We got to get practice. Round three is right around the corner. So. We are going to be switching to the 370 from the uh, Boss uh, S14. So SSR is running the road, old Road Atlanta circuit from the original FD days. So we entering in the horseshoe first and coming out second and running very short lines. So we're going to try and run a few of those lines here for today. Throw ourselves into third gear. And the 50 roll. Into fourth. Initiate at that line, put it on the brakes, clip that intersection. I should have held that out wider because we're supposed to get right on that corner of that grass. So, definitely, since I have not been on the wheel recently, definitely need to get back onto it. So, that is the actual way they are running this. So, I need to drop no more than one tire there. We need to get back the fields here on Forza 7. So we're going to run a couple laps here. So, like I said, we will be switching to the 370 V8 here for round three in the remainder of the season. So super excited to get back behind the wheel and back trying into competition. It's been uh, definitely some time off on the wheel, so need to reacquaint myself here with this setup. That was a better, that was a better turn in. Run a mid to high line out of here. Don't lose it. We're supposed to clip that corner of the grass. So the runs are a little shaky right now, but these are probably the first two runs back here on Forza 7 in a long time. So if you guys want to see more Forza content, make sure you tap that like button, subscribe, and tap that bell notification. I do appreciate all the support from everybody here in these uh, SSR endeavors. I'm not sure if this is the livery that I'll be running or if I will be running a uh, usual suspects livery from TUS Anthem, but definitely been getting super comfortable in the 370 versus the boss we will probably throw the boss kit s14 on here to see the difference after we run a few runs here in this 370 that's a better run right there gonna work on not straightening up or pretty much double initiating to that section but still a nice fluent car here for SSR so definitely like I said getting super excited to get back behind the wheel and have some fun gonna be doing some Assetto Corsa and stuff like that here in the future as well and uh, the start of the PC build is very very near so we will be switching to PC to run some Assetto Corsa mods and tandems and stuff like that. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you like the content and you want to see more. That was a much better run. Stay nice and sideways, a little handbrake to keep ourselves at an angle. shouldn't have feathered off there I should have probably stayed on power Ooh. so we're gonna switch to the boss kit real quick so we can see the difference in the two to compare smoothness and all that on these two cars advantage of being the same brand we can just go right to it and it is right there 265s 500 horsepower boss s14 definitely a different power curve being turbo instead of uh you know naturally aspirated wheels started chattering out all on me so let me know what you guys think of 370 verse boss kit s14 and which one do you think i'm a little bit smoother in i'm curious to see what you guys think about it 
think we can run this car in third gear. I can't remember what gearing I'm supposed to be running in this S14. So, we're just gonna go send it and find out. Fifty roll. No, I think it's fourth. Nope, probably third. Pretty much threw that way too hard there. Angles are definitely very different in this car. So I think we need to stay in third with this car. Just scraping the bumper. And I, I don't think I'm as smooth in this car as I am my uh, 370Z. So, like I said, I'd be very curious what you guys think. And, uh, because you guys are watching it. And uh, let me know how you guys feel about the me switching to a V8 370. Run that on third gear. I mean, I can get the lines with this car, kind of, but I feel like I'm twitchier. Oh, just popped my wheel off full lock. Woo. It's definitely been a minute since we've been behind the wheel here. Uh, Forza 7, let alone behind the wheel, period. But we're back at it, and we're going to be going strong here for SSR Round 3. Definitely want to get a good qualifying run. And to make sure I get into tandem battles for round three. A very aggressive flick entry. Definitely missed that clip though. I think we're gonna switch back to 370 and see if we can't do oh, right before we hit the wall some more aggressive entries with that 370 and uh, get that thing dialed in here for today's episode. Pretty comfortable with the tune on the car. I just need to uh, reacclimate myself with the car and just get back into being comfortable with it. So definitely been having a lot of you guys come back for the Torque Drift video, so appreciate all the support with on those. Going to be bringing more Torque Drift content to you guys, as well as more stuff with SSR, Assetto Corsa, public lobbies, open lobbies, and uh, some uh, live streams as well here on 7 Horizon 4 LEGO Expansion, which we're going to be going back to as well, and uh, Torque Drift as well. Ooh. Different, different feel, different power band but definitely, I think, more comfortable in this car. So we're gonna go full send and uh, see if we can't get a decent entry. Third gear shift, power on, fourth, kick it in. It's a bit better of an entry there. Much better a run slow through that section. But a lot higher of an angle than last few runs. Didn't get all the way out to the final touch and go, but we're still there. But we are definitely getting the feels back here in Forza 7. And we are going to be running maybe one or two more runs here for today to end this episode off. Just a little uh, shakedown video for you guys for round three. More coming with tandem practice and stuff with the team as well as qualifying prep and liveries and stuff like that. Taking out that inside clip. Probably should change the gearing a little bit. That seemed to work very well right there. And I'm feeling quite comfortable. So, as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Make sure you tap that like button if you're not a subscriber. I do appreciate the support. Tap that bell notifications if you want to be part of the notification gang. There's a lot of people who are part of it, and I appreciate you guys coming as notification gang and coming 
to see the videos right as they come out. One more send here to end this episode off a little bit on the grass touch. Left up right there. Quick handbrake flick that was a little bit too short in on there, but we are still sideways. I feel like this last section is a lot harder doing it this way. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.